Today, I'm going to show you how to get the most of your, out of your queries using prepare statements. So let's get started. Typically in your application, if you need to connect to a ScyllaDB cluster, you will need to use one of our supported drivers. So let's see how a query actually works. When you execute a query at the client level, that query string is going to be sent to the database that is going to, to parse it first, then execute it and send some data back. So this is an example of what we call a simple statement. Simple statements are great if you're using that uh, query exactly once. But what happens if you're using it multiple times? So let's say you're using it 10 times, 100 times, or a million times in your application. Uh, this is very inefficient, and this is why a solution like caching makes total sense. And that's what prepared statements really are. So, so prepared statements are really good if you're using the same query uh, multiple times. It's actually a two-step process, and let's go through it and let's see how it works. So first, the driver will send that prepared statement to the database. The database will compute an ID, uh, parse that uh, uh, query, and then cache both the ID and the parse query in the database. And we'll send the prepared ID back to the driver that will uh, cache it. So the next time you're using that same query, you will only use that ID um, and also the values that are bound to the query you will send those to the database. The database will get the cache using the ID and also execute the, uh, the, the, the query and send back the result. And this process is more efficient if you're using the query multiple times because it will save some compute and parsing time at database level. So let's see some code and see how this actually works. So I'm using some simple Python code here. Uh, let me run this first. Um, as you can see, I'm just uh, selecting ID name and completed from the to do key space and the items uh, table. Um, I'm looking for data with a specific ID. And here I'm using some Python. I'm using the format function to pass ID as a parameter to my query. But my query is just a query string here. Um, so in order for me to uh, turn this simple statement into um, a prepare statement, I will just need to let my query know that instead of having uh, an ID, I will need a, a bound value to it. So uh, I will use the session.prepare um, to uh, prepare the statement. And I'm going to remove the format ID. Um, and I'm also going to remove the curly braces here because I don't need them anymore. And I'm going to replace it by a question mark. So here I'm telling my query, uh, please get me the this items where ID equals to um, a parameter and I'm going to let know my execute function that the parameter that I want is ID. So I'm just creating a new array and adding all the parameters that I need. In this case, I just need one, which is ID that I have um, that, that I have at the beginning of my code. Okay, um, but here the problem is that um, the execute function is not going to be very happy with um, with the fact that I passed the ID as a string so all I need to do is to create a UID object here there you go and uh, let me clear this out for you to, so you can see oops clear and let me run it again and there you go and now it's working so this is it for uh, turning a simple statement into a prepare statement all right uh, this is it for today's video we saw what a, st a simple statement is, we saw what a prepare statement is, what the difference is between the two. We saw that simple statements are really good if you're using the query once. If you intend to, same, to use the same query multiple times, then prepare statements are uh, the way to go. Um, so thanks a lot for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you. Uh, <coughs> Hello everybody, what's up?